I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project for climate change is a tornado. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one finger at the top and I'm going to put a dot. And I'm going to start on the dot and I'm going to start way out, curve line, keep going. And we're going to do this a couple of times. And what we're doing is we're making a very violent rotating column of air which is what a tornado is. So once you draw your first um, part of your tornado, now come back up to the dot and we're going to draw it again. And this time, if you want more of it to come out, you can make that arrangement or you can keep it the way it is and just do it over and over and over again. I think I'm even going to do mine one more time. Now, I was going to the left, now I'm going to go to the right. And that'll give me a different whirl for my tornado. Now I don't forget, so I don't forget that that's what this is. I'm going to write tornado. Okay. And in climate change, it's a violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground. And what it does, it uproots trees, destroys buildings, and hurls vehicles hundreds of yards. So I'm going to start off by just doing a curve, I mean a wavy, wavy line, connect. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to draw straight line, straight line, diagonal. And then I'm going to go straight line, straight line, straight line, diagonal. And I'm going to come down over here and I'm just going to draw wavy, wavy line, connect. But I'm going to draw two diagonal lines, connect. Over here, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Two diagonal lines, zigzag at the bottom. I'm just going to draw a curved line. And then I'm going to draw a curved line up in zigzag. Curve line up and zigzag, curve line up and zigzag. Down below that, I am just going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight diagonal, 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 connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And then straight line, straight line, let's put a little straight line down. Now I'm going to come over on the right side and I'm just going to draw uh, a curved line and I'm going to, just going to go one, two, three curved lines. Come down below, one, two, three, connect. And you might go, what are you drawing? And what I'm trying to do, let's do a closed curved line, curved line, is I'm trying to show all of the debris and all of the destruction that happens because of a tornado. So I'm going to put two baby circles, curve line, curve line. We'll make this a bike. And the thing is, is that it can look totally destroyed because that's what happens. Everything goes flying all over the place. Okay. Maybe you want to put a car, a vehicle, so I'm going to just go straight line, curve line, curve line, connect, baby circle, baby circle. And down here at the bottom, I'm going to do big curve line out, zigzag, zigzag on the right, big curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Come up, wavy, wavy 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 line. What you have to understand is that when a tornado hits, I'm going to come back in and do my tornado again, get my lines going more and more into that funnel shape. And that's the thing about climate change. In the old days, like 25 years ago, I'll consider that old, we would have a tornado season. 
Now, it seems like we're always having tornadoes. And they're very deadly in the Midwest. Okay? And then, because of climate change, now all of a sudden tornadoes are showing up in places they never used to be. I'm going to add a couple of more little explosion lines. This curve line zigzag. If you have room, you might want to add some more things falling apart. Now I'm going to add one, two little animation lines on the right, and I think I can fit one, two animations on the left because you really want it to look like it's rotating violently. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown and I'm just going to add some circles of color, rotating color, on my tornado. Because it's wind, but it picks up all the dirt. I'm going to add some animation lines in brown and bring it down to the bottom. Now, I'm going to take the brown again, and wherever I have a black line, I'm just going to draw a brown line right next to it. Because like I said, it's windy, it's the wind, but it's really also a very, very dirty wind. Because it's picking up everything in its path. I'm going to do my tree trunks brown. I think that's it. Okay. Next, I am, now the next parts, you can do any colors you want. Because this is the purple, and I'm just doing any color I want because it's just all the trash that you would see flying all over the place. I'm going to make my bicycle down here orange and this little part up here orange. Some of this I'm making some color choices just so it's not too boring. I'm going to use my dark green for my treetops. Now the other thing about climate change is that we can uh, predict tornadoes, but they're coming so much closer than they used to. Okay, down here, this debris I'm going to make yellow. And this debris I'm going to make yellow, the trashed out part. I took a light green for this building. And like I said, you can make these colors any colors you want. Did a little red door. Okay, and a um, little blue car, black wheels. Okay, the destruction from one of these is pretty incredible. Okay, now because I want my background to look equally as crazed as the actual tornado, I'm taking a gray and I'm going around the whole entire outside part of the tornado with a gray loop-de-loop -loop line. Just circle, circle, circle. And this is to show movement. Now, if you want to, you can add more things flying around. You can add first responders, you can add people, you can do whatever you want. The main emphasis is going to be that violent rotating column of air that we have right here. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my tornado all colored in. And uh, this is because of climate change. Okay, bye-bye.